This one stock market fund can help you become incredibly wealthy. Hey family, welcome back to my channel. My name is Matt. If you're new here, welcome. If you're a Terry family member, thank you. Guys, thank you so much for tuning into this video. Remember to do all the fun stuff below and check me out on Instagram and let's jump into this video. All right guys, so in this video, we're gonna do four things. Number one, we're gonna go over the definition of the S&P 500. Number two, we're gonna go over the average returns of the S&P 500 over the last 10 to 12 years. Number three, we're gonna talk about why it's one of my favorite funds. And number four, we're gonna talk about where to invest in this fund. Let's jump in. Before we start, disclaimer, this is not financial advice, this is for entertainment educational purposes only, just wanna let you know. All right guys, now the definition of the S&P 500. The S&P 500 index or standard and poor 500 index is a market capitalization weighted index of 500 leading publicly traded companies in the US. It is not an exact list of the top 500 companies in the US by market cap because there are other criteria that the index includes. Still, the S&P 500 is regarded as one of the best gauges of prominent American equity performances and by extension of the stock market overall. All right, Matt, in English, please. Basically, it's 500 large companies in the US into one fund that the average person can invest into. All right, guys, let's look over the returns of the S&P 500 over the last couple years. All right, guys, here we are, 2010, the S&P 500. This is the number we're gonna look at right here. It's the percent return that the fund got over that period of time. So in 2010, it got a 12.78% return. Now, what does this mean? If you had a certain amount of money in there, let's say you had $100 in there, you get 12.78% return on that $100. So it'd be $112.78. Then if we look at the second year, it's 0%, meaning it broke even. Then in 2012, it was 13.41%. In 2013, almost 30%. That's a lot, that's a really good year. Then 11%, then it went minus point, so less than 1% of a subtraction in 2015. Then 9.54 in 2016, 19.42 in 2017, minus 6% in 2018, and then 19, 28%, that was crazy, and 2020, 16%, and 2021, 26%. Now, so far in 22, 2022, it's not been doing so well, minus 6%, but you gotta think about it. Look at this, you have 28%, 16%, 26%. So these are amazing. The last three years have been incredible. So just because it's down 6%, that's okay. In 2023, it might be up. 10% or whatever, but it's okay. Usually, and in this time period, now, I also do wanna point out something else. In 2008, when the crash was, the market crash, it was down 38%, but the next year it came back 23% and then 12%. So just because it goes down, it's like a roller coaster. Down, up, up, down, around, whatever. As long as you don't jump off, you're gonna be okay. With it from 2010 to 2022, right? It's been one year where it was at, just break even. One year where it was at, almost down 1.1% and then two years where it was down 6% and 6%. But besides that, 30%, 11%, 9%, 20%, 28%, 16%, 26%. It's a very great fund and it's very reliable over time. And like I said, there's gonna be some down years, but it's not even that bad. There's been three down years. This is not really a down year because it was even from 2010. So in the last 12 years of the SP500 fund, there's only been three years where it lost money and one year it was at point less than 1%. And then now we have 2008, but honestly, 2008 is an anomaly. That's not what happens all the time. Like I said, you ride the wave, you ride the wave and you make money, you make money, you keep dollar cost averaging, meaning putting money in every month and then you get a return on your investment. And it's really, really good. So those are the returns from 2010 to 2022. Not bad, right? You gotta look at long-term, not just the year you're in. All right guys, so now, why is it my favorite fund? Well, there's a couple of different reasons. It's very simple, it's very straightforward, and also it gives you a good return on your investment. Looking at investments, it's good to look at the past performance because it's indicative of what future performance is going to be. And therefore, we just looked over it. A lot of good years, a lot of good years. There's only three years where you're like, eh, I lost some money. But you didn't really even lose money because you didn't sell. And like I said, you ride the wave up, down, up, down, roller coaster. As long as you don't jump off a roller coaster, you're gonna be okay. 
Like I said, I really like this fund. It's one of my favorites. There's there's a lot of different funds that I invested into, but I just wanted to start out with this one because it's one of my favorites. And we can go over other mutual funds and other things in the future, but this is one of my favorite funds because you can get extremely wealthy on just this one fund if you dollar cost average into it, meaning you put money every month into it over a long period of time, you'll do well over 12 years. A lot of good returns there, a lot of good returns. There. All right guys, fourth part of the video, we're gonna talk about where to actually invest in this fund. Now there's a bunch of big financial institutions that are available to invest. So basically all I gotta do is open a brokerage account or a Roth IRA or 401k. And then after you do that, basically what happens, you put money in there and you say, I wanna invest in the SP 500. You pick that specific fund and then basically you put money in it every month. Perfect. A few examples of investment brokerages that you can use are Fidelity, Charles Schwab, Vanguard, Wells Fargo Asset Management. There's a bunch of different ones that you can use. Super simple to set up accounts. So you can call their customer service and ask them for help. And I can go over videos more in depth on how to actually set up an account. You, you go to Vanguard's website, you say create an account, you say which fund you wanna do, you say S&P 500, they pick that one. You put money into it and you put money into it every month and eventually you're gonna have a little nest egg. It's probably go to charlesschwab.com, vanguard.com, Wells Fargo Asset Management.com. There's all these different outlets. Fidelity is another good one. So you just go to the website, create the account, put the link your bank account information to it, your banking account, and then transfer money from your bank account over to the investment brokerage and start investing in it. And I can do it more in-depth, step-by-step video of how to do this in the future if you guys would like. Comment down below if you'd like to see that video. All right, guys, great fun. We went over. Let's go over. Let's do a little recap of the video. We went over what the S&P 500 was, we went over the returns, we went over why I like the fund, and then finally went over how you can actually invest in this fund as well. It's straightforward, and I wanna help you guys be able to become better investors, and this is a great first fund, especially if you're new to investing. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, guys. Remember to do all that fun stuff, and also, Instagram's linked down below. Go check it out over there. All right, guys, that's all for today's video. Remember to continually work to become the best version of yourself, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace!